person with this view on it is stronger and brighter than your own individual life, that your own life continues to exist. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time of joy and celebration in these two wonderful words. We know that your blessing is on this union. We simply ask that you would give Dustin and Haley the ability, the talent, and even the willingness that they might discover how to let each day of their marriage stand on its own. So that as they kiss goodnight each evening, they carry no hurt, no anger, or grievance into the next day. And as they awaken next to each other each morning, they may continue to extend joy and care and respect to one another. Father, we thank you for this year and all that comes from it. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Dustin, Haley, what you've come here today to say publicly, I'm sure you've known for some time within your life. And that it is your commitment now to work, to laugh, to play, and dream together for the rest of your life. We honor you for making this commitment. It is a commitment to each other. It is a commitment to yourself. But most importantly, it is a commitment to God. And for now, by the power given and by the state of Tennessee, in the church of our Lord and Savior, I am now pronounced to you, Carson, and Justin, and now kiss Mrs. Fox. <laughs>